Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. In this video we will look at uh, the data tables. Uh, we touched the topic uh, when we were talking about parameterization and in this video we will go a little deeper and the whole video is focused uh, on the data tables. Uh, I'll give you a quick uh, recap on what a Local sheet and uh, global sheet is, and then we'll write, you know, we'll dive into the uh, details. So, as you all know, every action you know that gets created gets a, a sheet. Let me double click here. Okay. Oh, uh, let me uh, clean the script real quick. Okay, uh, we are ready. So. Uh, double clicked on sampler one so if I go to data uh, I have a global sheet and I have sampler one and sampler two and as we know every action has its own sheet and that is referred to as a local sheet and there's always one which is referred to as a global sheet that is available for the whole script and there's an action specific sheet and it's referred to as local sheet so here we have a global and we have one record we have a sampler one we have about five records and in sampler two and you know there's nothing in there so let's uh, you know start uh, working with the data tables so we'll start with uh, here is uh, pretty much like the agenda that i'll be covering you know uh, as far as data table goes we'll start very basic we will um start um you know kind of you know accessing the data which would be actually you know number one here oh you know what i just you know forgot to talk about design time and runtime okay let me talk about that and then dive into number one so the data the data sheet that you see while you're designing your script is referred to as a design time data sheet and runtime data sheet is the the data sheet that you see within your run results is the runtime so what a uh, uft does is it takes this spread these three spreadsheets and makes a copy and then uses it at the runtime so when you make a change or when you when you kind of you know add uh, columns or update any specific uh, row the update actually happens within the runtime table and we'll, we'll look into it i believe i have a section there you know changing values in data table you know you'll know exactly what i'm talking about there you will now at number two you will understand the difference between the design time data table and the runtime data table so let's take a uh, look into it so that's taken care so now let, let's start you know the reading data so Let's let's a simple thing is we'll print we, we will you know, let's say for example we'll work with the global sheet uh, we will read the data from the global sheet and we'll just print it so simple the statement print and we want to work with data table it's data table a dot and then we want some value out of it so value and now the syntax is parameter ID is nothing but the column so let's say you want uh, the website name which is globallytraining.com the column name is website so you want to get that but where where is the parameter it's in the global sheet and we know you know uh, from the past scripts you might have seen when parameterizing you might have seen dt global sheet and dt a local sheet so I'm going to use the same thing, but I'll talk about how you can use a sheet name here in the next step. But for now, we'll stick to global sheet. Global sheet. So if I run this script, you know, primarily it should just print uh, globallytraining.com. 
say the value dt global sheet it says the value is not there Let, let's go ahead and troubleshoot that okay there's a syntax error here I should I, there shouldn't be double quotes there and they should work let's go ahead and run it Okay, let's go to output. There you go, globalheatraining.com. So from the data, we were able to read this. Let's, you know, copy the same line and let's see if we can read contact. I'm just making copies there. I'm going to read email as well. So I want to read, you know, print all these. So let me go ahead and quickly run it. So we have all oh, is able to grab it and this was the second run and this was the first run let me delete all that so now that we know we can read it let me make a few changes so that you get a better understanding on this as well so if we were using uh, dd global sheet instead i could also see, define the global name here i mean to say the sheet name i can define the sheet name or specify the sheet name and it'll directly starts working with it so when you go to data you see global and sample one these are the actual sheet names so if you give uh, global global then it's going to read from here but if i say sample one then it'll read from sample one but let us do this let us go ahead and run this so the global sheet data global represents this and global with, with double within the double quotes represents the sheet name so we should see globally training.com twice in the output window so output window is cleared let's go ahead and run it well so we were able to retrieve the name using both the options so similarly let me give one more example let me copy this line paste it but this time I want to bring uh, let's say you know the name Anderson from here so the column name or the parameter name is Anderson uh, sorry last name I'll just put last name there but this is from the sheet sampler one so I'll change this to sampler one so the syntax is as you can see let me do this at a table dot value you'll see parameter ID and the sheet ID so that's what it is so that we are just you directly using the sheet name so let me go ahead and run this so we should get uh, our the output should be globallytraining.com globallytraining.com and then we should see the last name Anderson coming from the other sheet so that worked so that's the second run okay so that's how you read the uh, information from the uh, data sheet you know you could specify the sheet that you want to work with and the column where you want to pull the data from and it will take care of that job I mean you know this would this is a syntax that you need to remember and you can use it anywhere I mean this is just an example we will we'll also look at a you know a kind of a script that is close to real time at the end so that is done now let's take a look at uh, changing values in the uh, data table so now that we know how to get to your cell so let us uh, you know, let us change this email address so to get to this cell uh, let's use this syntax but website this should be email so this should take me till here so if I were to say print this if I say print this then we know for sure it will print the email address but uh, let me do this just for the sake of separation see this is two okay so we want to assign a value so we know, we know that this will this is displaying the value at the same time what you can do is we can assign a value using the assignment operator now if you say news at global e so now 
this statement what exactly it is doing is it is assigning a value to a cell that is represented by this section here I mean you know this particular definition right so <clears throat> we used the same syntax to retrieve the value when we directly use this but if you use the assignment operator and give a value then whatever value you you know give or pass that goes into that cell now let's run this and see what it really means by saying assignment so this is a global sheet let's go ahead and run it and we were printing two there line 22 so let's first go to output so we know that for sure it went all the way here now we were hoping that under global sheet the email address would change to news at global e .com, but we still have training at global e it did not change the value at the same time there's no error okay remember I have uh, mentioned something about design time data table and runtime data table now those things come into play here so the data that you see here while designing the spreadsheets that you see these are design timetables you know at the time of design you are actually um, making changes to it or you know defining values or whatever you do with that that's at the design time now let's go take a look at results then you will see what a runtime table is so this here is a runtime results data so look at here so this you know within the data you have global and sampler one so because these are the you know sampler one was the action that was executed there was nothing in sampler two that's why there's no sampler two in sampler one sorry in, in a sampler yeah sampler one we have the data but there is nothing in sampler two so let us go back to global but this is where we changed the value if you were to compare these two look at here the email address is training at globally training.com in the in in the UFT spreadsheet but in the run results you have news at globally training.com and that is nothing but coming from here so what UFT does is it takes the spreadsheets and makes a copy of it and then uses that to run the test case so that's how you update and that's the difference you know and that's how you update and the difference between design time and runtime that's what it is so design time is here runtime data sheets will be in your run results so that's how you um, you know update uh, values I mean we'll also see you know you can get the value from the say from your application and you can save it to your uh, runtime table okay now let's uh, take a look at how the process of counting uh, sheets and counting um, uh, rows in a uh, sheet uh, let me paste a line here so I'm saying print it's a data table dot get sheet count this get sheet count function returns you the total number of sheets so here as you can see one two three we have three so if I, if I run this script you know it should pretty much display that I have three scripts I mean to say three uh, data sheets so you know, output say I have three here okay so that's how you uh, count the sheets now let us uh, count the uh, rows in a specific um, data sheet that's even that is very simple let me paste a line here data table dot data sheet and you're giving you're passing the sheet name and here okay I need to replace this with uh, sampler one because data I have uh, that's the sheet name is global here sampler is this so I have five rows and this should give me five rows if I uh, let me start with this rows in sampler one just kind of make it look um, neat on the output side so now this should give me we are passing the sheet name and we are saying get dot get count and it's actually it's very simple if I do data table dot get sheet and give the name and you can just directly get from the sheet name uh, it's a case sensitive sample one and then dot get 
count. Oh, sorry. Get row count. So you do not have to really remember anything. It's just, you know, the intelligence will help you. So let me go ahead and run the script. Okay, sample one, sheet not found. Okay, you know, sample one, that's the problem. Stop. It's not sample one, it's sampler one. So let me correct that. Run the script again. Well, let's go to the output. Okay, we have sheets three and rows in sampler one is five. And let's do this. I'm going to repeat, comment, say copy this, and I'll change this to global, this to global sampler two. So here we want to count rows from every sheet two. So we should see if you are data, we should see from for global there should be one, for sampler two, sampler one it should be five, and sampler two there should be zero. Go ahead and run it. Let's go to the output. Okay, see, look at here. We have uh, sh three sheets in global, we have one record. In sampler one, we have five records. And in sampler two, we have zero records. Okay. Okay, that's how you, you know, count, uh, you know, records in a in a sheet and you might be wondering why there is a need to run or you say why there's a need to count the rows because when we did the parameterization uh, isn't it that the QTP I mean UFT looks at a sheet and you know kind of iterates through the whole thing we know that right when we say you know iterate every row in the action properties it does it then what is then why is there a need for us to count what is the use you know, we'll look at that at the very end of this data data um, table concepts we will we'll, we'll work with the sample application and we'll see the real usage of uh, you know the get row count and you know all other you know concepts that you're looking at okay um, Okay, well then I'll do a part two of this video and we will look at the you know rest of the sections here for four through nine. Okay, and you know uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you might want to you know kind of review this video before you uh, continue with the next part of the same you know next part of the data table video. Okay, well then I will talk to you in the next video.